Remember what I said about them? They'll just scavenge. They'll just scavenge metal off ships that are flying around. Intruders on board. Okay, now you'll see. Oh, see here they are. <laughs> now, I've, I've got the upgraded doors, and I'm gonna upgrade them even more by sending this guy over here. What I'm gonna do is open these airlock doors. All right. Nice. And then open this door. And now watch what happens. Okay, now that that room is already completely out of air. <laughs> and as you can see, their health has already been and and this one it starts to turn pink and then red as it loses air. And okay, now it's completely out now. So they are they will be steadily losing health. They're gonna go shoot their way out though. Oh, they did yeah. it. Yeah, they broke. Okay, they broke through that door. You know, they broke through that. But now they're now they're they're attacking the shield. They can wreck the shield generator from the inside. Oh, now they're out of air again. <laughs> now they're panicking. <laughs> Taking them longer to shoot through the doors because of the upgrade. A good strategy I find is. Uh, oh, they're through. Now they're attacking the sensors. <laughs> but the air is and now the air in that room is running out. <laughs> and oh, they given up on the sensors. They're just going through the door. Now he's oh, in the. He's get... Now he's in the med bay, but he's just he's just frustrating, smashing it in frustration. Oh, now he's going for the door. Uh oh, they're, they're almost at me. Okay, this could be a problem because now I'll be in. I'll have no air. Oh, now oh they're out. Oh, they're in or they're. No, they're they're. I mean, they're out of air in there. Oh, that guy and that guy's dead. I start um. Getting ready to. I start closing. I start closing the door so you can uh, get some oxygen yeah. start moving. Yeah, I'm closing that. Yeah, I'm gonna close that door. I'm gonna open up this one so I can. Uh... Oh, uh oh, they're in. I start running. Actually, I, I don't know how much life they have. Actually, but, yeah, yeah I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna stand and fight. They're both almost dead. I put some. Uh, I just... put some uh, power into the uh, med bay. Yeah. You can actually keep yourself alive. All right, oh, one oh. of them got one of them down. Oh. We're we're just like standing like, like two feet from each other, just shooting each other in the face. Again, Queensberry rules very, very gentlemanlike. Victory. Now we can close these doors. Actually, actually, you can do it quicker than that. Close all doors on the ship. All right. You can also open all doors on the ship simultaneously. Although I'm not quite sure why you'd want. <laughs> See why you would do that. And all right. Unscathed. Now I'll just head over to the med bay. Let the probulator do its work. <laughs> Man, how long does it take to repressurize? Jeez. And also, you have a little oxygen level up here. It's the 82 percent, 83 percent, and then you can you can make it recover faster by by upgrading your uh, life support. Yeah. Although, really, the main reason to upgrade your life support is so that it can survive a small amount of damage. What about oh, your uh, What about your subsystems? Are they still working? Oh yeah, yeah. They, yeah. None of they didn't hit any of them enough to. They kept giving up and going after the doors. Yeah, they kept panicking and going after the doors. So they didn't they didn't manage to really accomplish anything. Oh, that's funny. It's funny because it's horrible. Oh, don't you? Oh yeah, you, we, did we do the distress yet or? Oh, oh that's right. Okay. Hey, have you found our like my father and like my three brothers? They were like hanging around and they're talking about like stealing some ship and. <laughs> The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire, and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. Looking for help to fix or disable it. Promise to help. All right. Just shoot at it. Oh, promise. Hey, Simply... success! You fire a few volleys from a distance, and it is clear that the defense system is no match for your weapons. However, the station does not seem happy with your solution. You salvage what you can and jump before there is trouble. Now... <laughs> Sometimes, depending on what you have, you get special options for, like, certain different things will unlock different special options that will appear in blue. Like, I believe if I'd had a beam weapon there, like, I could have, uh, I might have been able to, like, for, for instance, cut it loose without, like, doing as much damage. Or, um, if you have, there's this one, like, race of, this one, this one alien race that's, like, mechanical, and sometimes if, if you have one of them, you can, like, hack into a malfunctioning system and fix it that way. And then usually, usually the results of using the special options are pretty much almost always better. And like so they can come from like which systems you have, what kinds of weapons you have, what race of your crew. Mm hmm. No need to thank me. Away. All right. 
Now, yes, you notice if we went down here, th th there's too much space. We wouldn't be able to get the exit. We'd have to work our way back up, and then we'd have to fight our way through the rebels, and we probably would not survive that. So there's too much space in space. Exactly. It's too spacious. Oops. Yes. Your scans have picked up a Lanius vessel in the system. It appears to be navigating a rich debris field, harvesting the minerals. Attempt to hmm. harvest some for yourself, attack the vessel, ignore the vessel. Let's just harvest some for ourselves. Oh, as you attempt to harvest, navigate the debris, you come too close to the Lanius ship. And they proceed to try to harvest you. Uh oh. Alright, let's put a missile into the shield generator. Mm hmm. Wait, Looks oh. like they got that oh. uh, weapon to actually try to knock out your shields, too. Oh, they got the ion gun? Yeah, I see oh, it. Yeah, the, okay. Also, before I forget, take that power out of the med bay, put it back into the engines. Ah. Now we have better evasion. The well, Lanius ship is pretty neat looking. Yeah. Oh. And it's a hit. The shields are the shields are out. Now. Oh, and now their weapons are out. Nice. Okay, we've suffered. <laughs> Just in time too. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> our, sh our shields are down to notice our shields are uh, to one level because we've been uh, we've taken two points of ion damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, not that it really matters now. Oh, boosh. Oh, I got quite a bit for that. Ooh, investigate the debris. Oh, all right. Nice! Soon I'm gonna take a look at the upgrades again, but not just yet. Yeah, I really gotta say I'm kinda waiting for the other shoe to drop in this game. Yeah, it always does. The, the shoe of Damocles is forever over your head in this. Yes. This beacon is being patrolled by an unmanned scout. A fight is unavoidable. Out come the drones. Out come, looks like, two guns. Mm -hmm. The combat gets more elaborate. I mean, it's not all. It, oh, we've been hacked. That's a that's their hacking Ooh, system. Oh, oh, okay. And they hacked our weapons, which is not good. That basically that temporarily disables whatever system that it can temporarily disable whatever system it hits. So unfortunately, okay. it hit our, hit our weaponry. Okay, but now we're off. Now we're charging it, but we have to sort of start from zero. Charge. Okay. Also, looks like they um, they only have like the one pulse laser. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, the, the hacking thing requires energy. So. Yeah. Our, our missiles away. Success. And now target their weapons. <laughs> so it doesn't help that they can't hit anything. <laughs> okay, their weapons are out. Their shield is actually still partially functional, but probably only has one bar. So they 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 don't actually gen they can't actually jump. Oh damn it! They can't actually, because they only have one bar, like I said, an odd number of shield bars doesn't really help. They can't actually generate a defense of each field. Dude, get your thing off our thing. <laughs> All right. And first laser. Fire. And wave. Oh. oh. But at least they're burst, they're, uh... Now, when something can't use, can't work, not because it's damaged, but simply because either it's been hit by ions or because it's recharging after use, it, it flashes blue. Right. But it's, in this case, it's also flashing red because it's... There we go. Man, you're... <laughs> you're banking it up. Yep, now to the exit. Drive to long-range jump beacon. Oh, scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Oh. Investigate. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field, whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? Try to communicate peacefully? Bring some of the creatures on board to sell or leave? <laughs> Let's try to communicate peacefully. Oh, none of your attempts to communicate seem to work. They just stare at you silently. As you prepare to leave, one of the creatures canters forward, forward and forcibly nudges you away from the ship. He seems to want you to follow him. All right, what's that, Lassie? Eventually, they guide you to an old Engi ship's crash site. Inside, you're able to find and reactivate an Engi. All right, we got a new member, oh, of, our, new member of our crew. The Engi are like these... They say it's unclear whether they're actually fully ma machine or if they're like cyborgs or whatever, but they're like these... Mechanics. And they're really good at repairing. Yeah. Here, you can go, go to the ship crew. His name is Walker for some reason. Okay. You, 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 oh, Randy, Texas alien. It's unclear if the Engi are partly organic or entirely mechanical, but it's well known that they make exceptional yes. engineers. Oh, okay. I was going to say, like, who is the alien Randy Walker? <laughs> Repair speed is doubled. Combat and damage inflicted is halved. Oh, cool. So they're not as good in a fight, but they fix stuff better. 
I think he'd be great in the shields. Yeah, right now. Yeah, I got the shields manned for now. Yeah, basically, the your top priority man should be like helm, weapons, engines, and shields. And then if you get once your crew gets bigger, you can start putting them out to like you know uh, sub lesser subsystems like you know the doors and the. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> Those are all rebel control. That is a huge amount of... That must be a huge fleet. All right, now we have two choices. We can go to Engi-controlled uh, Engi Eng Engi civilian sector or a rock-controlled hostile sector. Hmm. Now, Dwayne Johnson's powers are fearsome, so I'm not sure we should mess with them. What do you think? So an entire sector with... Populated by Dwayne the Rock Johnsons. It's a, it's a whole, it's a whole, it's a whole species of his clones. Oh, uh, okay. It's, and they all like it's, all it's, their movies are like okay, and they're they're kind of mediocre. But you're kind of waiting for like, man, one of these, one of these rocks going to like make that really good movie they talked about. He's so about. charismatic. Why can't you get a better role? Yeah. Exactly. They're so charismatic. They could do so much better. Like what? Unfortunately, you can't see. Like, the sectors, you know, further ahead, you can't... You don't know exactly what they are, aside from being, you know, civilian or hostile. Right. Um, so... Engie controlled civilian... Civilian control... Civilian are generally... They have more shops. Uh, they usually have less hostiles. Although, they're not... They're not safe, by any means. Um, actually, I got this big pile of money. Let's go to civilian, so maybe I can get a big... Sure. Kind of store with some good stuff. You have arrived in Engi space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Yes, the Engi are generally pretty friendly. Okay. The rock, the rock people are, uh, are, are are much more bellicose, as are another race called the Mantis. I remember I had a Mantis crew member, and yeah. he was great because we got boarded a lot. So yeah, they're superior fighters. Yep. And they move faster. The Engi are awaiting you at the beacon with their weapons online. They explain a computer virus that is wanted for hostile acts against the Engi. Multiple counts of binary scrambling, nano dissolution, and variable interface is aboard your vessel. Continue. They insist you must destroy, they destroy your ship to prevent the virus from escaping. Oh! Okay, hold on, let us try to purge the system code, attack the Engi vessel, or blue, and, you know, Engi crew. That tells you what the prerequisite for getting that special option is. Okay. Engi crew, have your Engi crew member negotiate with the Engi ship. Want to try that? Sure. Son of a bitch! <laughs> as oh Engi, no! As the Engi attempts to contact the vessel to negotiate, your Engi crew member suddenly dissolves into nanites. The virus is murdered again! Detecting activity on your ship, the Engi vessel opens fire. Walker is gone. <gasps> Walker, no! Alright. Okay, this is, a, this is a tougher opponent than we had faced so far. Look, two shields. Mm -hmm. Bigger bar. Engi bomber. Oh, they've also got a circling drone. Let's see what this is. Defense drone. Shoots down missiles and asteroids. Okay, so yeah, we don't really want to fire our Artemis missiles right now, because he'll probably intercept them. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to focus on uh, energy weapon for now, and hope we can get like three hits in a row on their shield generator to knock down that shield. Okay, now this is like a, like a TV show. Um... This would be like the point where like the audience is like, well, what the hell? You just like in introduce this <laughs> brand new character and you just kill him off. Well, it's, they do that in a lot of episodes. Like you know, you, you go to a new planet, you know, Captain Picard meets some you know new chick and then she she dies by the end. Oh, only two hits. Every um, uh oh. Also, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it and I'm gonna hold down control. Oh, I, there go your shields. Oh, I'm gonna hold down control. And that'll that'll auto fire. It'll like every time it charges, it'll shoot automatically. Okay. All right, damage to their shields. They nice. We only got one now. Oh, there comes another one. Oh, and our shields oh. have been ionized. Oh, their shields, they got it fixed. It might, it might be best if we just jumped. You think you want to just jump? Might as well? Yeah. Well, it's like, otherwise we may end up just sort of in the standoff where we keep hammering each other and can't hurt them, hurt each other. Yeah, let's jump. Yeah, I'm noticing. Let's jump. Let's get to this distress beacon. 